Is this how some people feel all the time? I'm not, um, I'm not typically one that, uh, cries. You know, it's not the manly thing to do. If it's, if I, if I watch a good documentary, I'll, I'll tear up a little bit. The Korean drama Goblin, that got to me. Um, the death of my godfather, Jim Grabowski. Say hi, Jim. Hey. <laughs> was the last time I remember breaking down. Um, and then before that, I don't even, I don't even know. Crying is not something that I do often. And really crying feels like a foreign concept to me right now. I've, um, I've told many people this, and I don't know if I've officially said it on my channel yet, but for the longest time, I've kind of said that, like, I don't... <sighs> people are just like, oh my god, like, you're going to Japan, are you... Are you nervous? And I'm like, I honestly, like, it's just so big. It's so much. My life is about to change so much. I don't know what to think. I, I don't know how to feel. I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what is supposed, I don't know what is supposed to be normal. I don't, I don't know how my life is gonna, is gonna actually change. I don't, I don't have, um, a giant friend group. Um, I don't have people that I hang out with regularly. And really there's only one person in my life that I, I talk to um, very regularly. And, and this person um, doesn't live close to me. Um, we studied abroad together years ago. And I talk to this person every single week. If not three times a week, if not every other day, if not every day. And I recently got a, um, I say recently, I tonight opened up a, um, a priority envelope. I'm in the clothes that I was wearing, um, to Rohit's wedding. My car is off, so it won't go down. I'm gonna be a vlogger, what do you think? Vlogger? That'd be nice. <laughs> Because I just, it's its one o'clock in the morning and I just got back from driving three hours. And this was sitting on my table. And I was kind of expecting it because I had left this hat um, in her car. And it's its one of my old cross country hats from, from UD. And I really like it from my, so a hard earned hat that I love. And I told her she could keep it, keep it as a memento, but she refused. Thank you for the hat back. And I and I when I when I felt this envelope, I like I knew the envelope was bigger than it um, than just the hat, right? And and when I started pulling things out of it, I I'm not gonna show you everything in here because it, some of it's a little personal, obviously. Um, but I got a card, and and on the back it says, "This is what I first like read." It says, "I don't need anything that poops," and I think this is. Now, this is, this is everything to me. Um, it's funny. It, it's, I've been looking for a funny way to, to describe veganism to people. Um, normally I just say, like, I eat plants. I, if it's not a plant, I won't eat it. But this is, this is incredible. It's like, it's weird. And then, yes, there's like, um, like some writing and it, it that just seems kind of corny. And I, I think that's the intent. And then the back is, this is, and then, um, also in this in this box, I, I got like a, a journal with some writing prompts that are kind of funny. Um, they talk about, you know, my puns and, and things about Japan and, you know, really thoughtful things like that. And then I got it. Um, it, it was written a bunch of these these envelopes and each one of these envelopes has a um, has a letter for every holiday through Christmas, you know, my birthday and, and Christmas and New Year's and open this letter if something seems out of your control. <sighs> you know you don't cry often when your cheekbones hurt um, after like two minutes of doing it because those aren't muscles you have ever used before. <sighs> and then the last thing I got was a... Uh, <sighs> fuck. God. <sighs> I really wish I was acting right now. I cannot... I can't... I can't help it. 
<laughs> Is this how some people feel all the time? People that cry a lot, I like finding some new respect for you. <laughs> this is the hardest thing. I can't even breathe. And I can't breathe out of my nose because that's where the that's where the the, the tear ducts go. It's right into your nasal cavity. Cause who thought that was a good idea? Darwin, you're literally an idiot. It's the last thing I got it was this damn photo album. <sighs> this picture's of my grad cohort. I'm a tad me being an idiot. Trips from New Zealand, trips from India. Um, this is the wedding we just got back from. This is us in India. <laughs> ah. The reason I'm filming this is because I wanted to be as real as possible with my goal in making this channel was to was to really be myself. And here I am living out that goal. I can't like, st like really try to focus to speak words. <sighs> And I don't know why I'm crying, because I'm not sad. So I'm sure as hell ain't happy. So, for the longest time, I didn't know what to think, because I, I didn't want to tell anybody that, honestly, I'm not stressed out at all, because I don't think this is going to be a big life change for me. And I, honest to goodness, thought that's what it was going to be. Like, I did not think that moving to Japan was going to be that big of a deal. I did I wasn't in my mind I wasn't leaving a lot behind. I wasn't gonna miss people that I could handle the transition on my own. And that I was mentally ready and mentally strong enough to just do it. To just do something big. Now I am still going to Japan and I'm going to thrive and I'm and I'm going to struggle and I'm and I'm going to have the most amazing experiences. Right? Like, I'm not doubting this decision. Is that what, I, I, what I'm trying to say is I, I'm just now realizing the intensity of, of, of this life decision and starting to understand that uh, how much it's going to impact me. And I'm actually now realizing that there are people that care about me tremendously. Do I have, do I have lockjaw? Ah, oh, if I made it this far, just know that editing this was just an absolute nightmare. I know it's gonna be. I'm gonna have to go to bed, I'm gonna have to sleep this off, and I'm gonna have to edit this, like, days later. You know, this stuff, all this stuff makes me, makes me question things, like, is, is, have I taken my relationships in my life for granted? You know, and I, I, I said earlier, as well, like, just because something is hard does not mean it is not worth doing, right? Everybody knows that, that challenge can lead to just amazing things. So, I don't, I don't know what to think in total. Um, I really don't. I don't, I don't know what. Um, in my timeline right now, I leave in 11 days. I am ready. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. And right now, in this moment, I think I understand that pretty clearly. And to all my other very close friends out there, this isn't a bash to you in any way, shape, or form. People, I have been very lucky with the individuals that I've become close to in my life. And I, I, I recognize that. So to my friend that, that said these things to me, um, I'm not exactly sure what to say. I am clearly overwhelmed. <laughs> you, are, you are the friend everyone deserves. I have been extremely lucky to to have met people that have helped me become the person I am today. I don't I don't know how I'm going to go to sleep tonight. To those of you that have ever felt something similar to the way I'm feeling, congratulations on getting over it. <laughs> if you've never um, felt the way that I'm feeling now, good luck when it happens. I was not expecting any of this. Ken, the last time I cried like actually cried was seven or eight years ago. I'm a 24 year old man because being a man matters in this conversation. But I, you know, I can speak from experience just because someone doesn't cry doesn't mean they don't have emotions. And I've cried, I just haven't broken down. So good luck to all you. So here we are, 
I've, um, I only started filming this 20 minutes ago, so my, my timer's still running and I, I feel a lot better. I was probably, I was probably, um, out of it for 10 to 15 minutes before I even started filming too, so. It's been a doozy of a 45 minute run. Was that math? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go brush my teeth now. Oh, hey, I put pasta in the... Am I about to emotionally eat? I think so. I'm sorry uh, this didn't really have any funny moments in it, but I'll still see you next time. Hi, you've reached Anthony. Please leave a message after the beep. Thanks.